In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this curved modern coffee table. So let's go. I'm um, 150 pounds or so. So let's see if it can hold my weight. Okay, so when I first thought about this uh, coffee table project, I wasn't really sure how I was gonna do it. Uh, I thought about laminating pieces of plywood together and curving them, but that was gonna take up a lot of glue. I was gonna make them heavy and it was just gonna move around too much with all that glue. So I decided not to go that route. Instead, I am gonna be doing a frame. So this frame is basically uh, just made out of plywood cut into two and a half inch strips. So to start this project off, I decided I'm gonna make my first template. This is gonna be for the legs. I need to make four of these and I wanted to make sure all four of them are exactly the same. So the best solution that I came up with was just making a template. I start off by cutting a quarter inch thin sheet of MDF to the curve of my coffee table legs with a jigsaw. After I finished cutting them with the jigsaw, I then took it over to the oscillating sander so I could refine the shape. Once I have my template complete, I had a scrap piece of 3 quarter inch Baltic birch plywood that I'm going to be using to make this frame. So I went ahead and just placed my template on top of this piece of plywood where I could get 4 pieces and cut close to my line but not on the line making sure I have enough material left over to remove with the router. A router table would be perfect here, but sometimes you just gotta make do with what you have. I'm not saying it's the safest, but it worked. We do safety training every year or after an accident. We've never made it a full year. Once I had all my curved pieces cut out, it was time to go over to the table saw and rip my two and a half inch strips for the, the things, you know, to connect them. The stretchers. I was trying to say the stretchers. I'm just going to use some old reliable wood glue and using some brad nails to hold this together while it dries. Okay, so once again, making do with what you have. A track saw would have been perfect for this situation, but I'm still waiting on my track saw that I ordered on Black Friday of 2020, and it's still not here, so I just have a circular saw with a straight edge, and I didn't even use a straight edge for half the time, and the results were not as good as I was hoping for. But it was good for no track saw. Also, if you're wondering what happened to all those lines I just drew on my piece of plywood, um, I actually messed up on that piece and had to start over. And I was too lazy to draw all the way across, so I just marked little ticks at the edge of my piece. Just being honest. I did drop plug holes to the frame so I could screw to the top of the coffee table and not have to use any clamps.
Okay, so it's the next day I took all the clamps off and yesterday I was trying to do the cover cuts on quarter inch thin piece of plywood for the inside and it broke on me and I don't know if I could do it. So I scrapped that idea. To get wood veneer that would fold easier and would work but that's gonna take about a week or two to get to me and I don't have that time. So I went down to Home Depot and I got this plastic thing. And yes, I know it's not wood, but it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be in here. Uh, it's really thin, it's like a eighth of an inch. Um, and it doesn't need to be strong. It's just going to go in here and nobody's gonna touch it. It also gave me the opportunity to paint it any color I want. So I'm not sure what color I'm gonna stay in the wood first, um, but then I could go bold with the color if I wanted to, or subtle, I don't know yet. So I did a lot of sketch stuff during this project and I 100% do not recommend that you follow anything that I'm doing here. This is just for entertainment purposes. Um, but this has to be probably the sketchiest thing I've done in my table saw ever. So don't do this at home. So to bond the thin sheet of plastic to the plywood, I'm going to be using contact cement. And this is my first time ever using contact cement. There's a lot of first things I'm doing in this video and it was a big learning experience. Now if you saw my previous video where I made the DIY monitor stand, I did veneer pieces of hardwood to the edges to cover the cuff cuts. It's gonna be the same principle here. I'm gonna veneer thin sheets of hardwood that's gonna cover my plywood frame and the edges where the curve cuts are shown on the plywood.
I did have some gaps in between the plywood and the hardwood edge, but I just used some stainable wood filler and with the stain I'm gonna go with, you can't even tell. Okay, so I went ahead and taped up the inside where the white is here with uh, blue painter's tape uh, just to avoid getting the stain on it. Also, I applied some pre-stain on the entire table here to help with uh, splotchiness. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, True Black by Minwax stain and hopefully the birch top and I think the side is actually cherry, not birch, so whoops. Uh, hopefully they match and it looks good. So let's get to staining. Okay, so now that the table has had over 20 hours to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it off with some wipe on poly before I remove the blue painter tape. Um, and then figure out if I wanna paint the inside here. I kinda like the white, but I don't know. I might go with something bold and see what happens, but let's apply this poly first. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Also subscribe if you're not already, it really helps out. Um, also, by the way, before you leave, let me know what color you would paint the inside here. I was originally gonna do red, but I kinda like the white. It's a good contrast to the black stain that we have here. Uh, but let me know in the comments what color you would paint the inside. Also, like I said, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, so I know one of the main questions I'm gonna be getting in the comment section about this table is, how much weight can it hold? And honestly, I have no idea how much weight this table could hold, but I'm gonna sit on it. Um, 150 pounds or so. So let's see if it can hold my weight. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, 150 pounds is the answer.